so excited to take you through what I eat today. I woke up right around sunrise this morning and usually I get up but Kyle and I had a long day in the office and I had a hard day at the gym yesterday so I wanted to let my body recoup. <sighs> For the longest time these videos have been my favorite thing to watch on YouTube. I feel so inspired when I watch them with new recipes for snacks and meals. Just fuels my passion for intuitive eating and nourishing your body. I've been thinking about doing one of these forever, so today is the day. It's time. And honestly, it's winter here right now. We're going through these big fluctuations of sometimes it's snowy and then it rains. Uh, it's pretty nasty out there. So it's been a little harder to get outside than normal. So I'm gonna stay inside today and switch it up and just show you what I eat. I like to start out my morning with some water, just keeping it simple. Uh, I'm usually not that hungry when I wake up immediately. So uh, this just gives me a chance to wake up my metabolism, naturally start to feel the hunger over time, not force anything down, and just kind of replenishes my body and cleanses it. Along with that water, I'll usually have a small green juice. I mix in a powder, which is just pure organic dehydrated vegetables and other superfoods. The green juice has things like wheatgrass, spirulina, spinach, barley, alfalfa, broccoli, beetroot, different berries, some probiotics. It just feels so good to start getting that into your body first thing. After I have enjoyed my water and given myself a second to digest, I will throw on my gym clothes and head out to the local gym. Oh gosh, all right. <laughs> Every time I come home, he needs so many snuggles. Here. So I just got back from the gym, and lately I've been doing a blend of weightlifting and then cardio after. So I was on the treadmill, and I was thinking, I never said a disclaimer regarding the food that I'm going to show you today. Um, I do really prioritize eating healthy, and this is a pretty realistic depiction of my day-to-day -day eating, focusing on nutrition. My meals do vary, uh, but I do try to keep them really clean, but it doesn't mean that I never indulge. Some days I want all the carbs in the world and I try to listen to my body and <laughs> treat it right and find that balance. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going to start the first meal of the day with an acai bowl. There's so many flavors in this. The reason I like acai bowls as one of my breakfast options, and don't get me wrong, there's so many smoothie bowls you can make. Uh, blue spirulina, matcha, cacao, peanut butter, vanilla, different types of fruit combinations. It goes on and on. But what it comes down to, no matter what bowl you make, and I do switch it up from time to time, is that you can pack so many good 
nutrients into one meal and it's delicious it almost feels like a dessert and also after the gym i want to have some protein so i can get my protein powder into this bowl too so it just feels like i'm checking a lot of boxes and i really just like to focus completely on my meal when i'm eating and the different feelings of the food and the tastes and focusing on the fact that all this energy is coming into my body so i'm gonna take some time to just be in the moment and finish this bowl and then move on to one more thing that I usually do before I head over to the office. <laughs> Either before I go to the office or right when I get to the office, I'll do a coffee or a matcha latte. Lately, I've been opting for the matcha just to switch it up. Matcha is full of antioxidants and has some caffeine in it, but also has components that calm your mind at the same time. I just love the taste too. And I usually do it with almond milk, but I ended up using some of that for my smoothie bowl, so I wanted to make some oat milk. After I blend all the ingredients together, I strain it through a cheese or a nut cloth. The process takes a little longer, but you avoid the gums and other artificial ingredients that come in a lot of store-bought nut and oat milks. It's also just really fun and meditative. And I ended up with a bunch of extra oat milk, so I'm going to save some and use it for dessert tonight. It's so good and earthy and then just a little bit sweet, but not too much from the vanilla extract. So I will just sip on this while I'm getting ready for the day and then head over to the office. All right, so I am at the office now. I've been working for a little bit. It's roughly four o'clock. Today's a little slowed by the fact that I got up a little late. Usually I would have a snack in the middle of the day too, maybe some Greek yogurt or avocado toast. I'm planning on making more of these videos, so I'll show you more of the variety that I throw into my diet, but I am very hungry right now, so I'm going to do a bowl filled with all sorts of vegetables and sprouts, ferments, and some homemade hummus. This is one of my all-time favorite things to eat, and I'm just going to drink some kombucha while I prepare it. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Good. You want any of the 
fermented stuff. You would squeeze a little lemon on it. You should just be my chef. Hmm. And I used that oat milk that I had left over, mixed it with some blue spirulina and maple syrup, and poured it into some popsicle makers that I have that I have not tried yet. And I threw in some blueberries and raspberries too. So I'm doing an Asian inspired noodle bowl. It's a nice way to throw any extra vegetables you have left over from the week into a bowl and use them up so they don't get wasted. And combining a few ingredients, I have a really good sauce I like to make to top it off. Sort of nutty and spicy and a little sweet. This is my best sauce yet. Mm. This thing is so pretty. Mm. I love making my desserts colorful and fun to eat in addition to being really good tasting. This is not bad for my first try. It's so many ideas for this summer with different combinations and colors and flavors. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna make a little bit of tea and then catch some Z's. It's been a loaded day and I am very ready for some rest. I imagine this is a pretty unpopular opinion, but I actually like leaving a lot of the leaves and the flowers and herbs or whatever I use in the tea blend I like leaving it right in the cup. Now, oftentimes I do usually use a mesh bag that's reusable, but the way I feel connected with the plants when I sip my tea and I can see the flowers floating around, it's like a little potion, very grounding. And to help with digestion, I'm going to put some lemon balm and yarrow that I grew last summer in some hot water, and I'll probably put a little honey in it too. It just will ease me into bedtime. Thank you all so much for taking time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I have a bunch more planned with different meals. Let me know what meal you enjoyed the most and why, and I'll see you all very soon.